Good morning, world. Well, the sun is just about there to rise. So in the next 5 to 20 minutes, we'll have Nibiru. So, but anyway, before we see Nibiru this morning, um, I got great news to report on. The United States of America's F. 35C. I didn't even know they had a C. This must be brand new. This must be top secret jet. I know about the A's and the B's. The A's the fighter. It's not much of a fighter. <laughs> but the B's more of the bomber. But now we got a C. Well, anyway, the C class can take, get this, hypersonic missiles now. Yep. They're being retrofitted with hypersonic missiles to challenge against like uh, Russia's growing threat of like the of the Russian avant-garde missile that travels Mach 9. So now America's doing whatever they can right now to step up their efforts to try to produce these missiles that can possibly try to shoot down an avant-garde. Is it possible? I don't know. I don't I don't I <laughs> Mach 9, I don't know, they travel at Mach 9, but I just found out about a brand new missile. A brand new missile that, that the Kremlin just released today, this morning. I just found out about this missile. It's much faster than the Avangard. Um, it's launched from a plane to knock down, like, whatever it needs to knock down. If it needs to knock down nuclear power plants in America or the White House, whatever it needs to knock down. This missile is called Kinsol. So the Kinsol, the deadly Kinsol missile. Well, guess how fast this thing's traveling? 27 times faster than the speed of sound. Mach 27. That's Paul and ass. Good luck trying to shoot that thing down. So like I said, America's like 22 years outdated when it comes to like hypersonic missile technology when in regards to like fucking Russia with their missile defense systems and... We're, we're really lacking. Yeah, America may have the coolest, stealthiest ships in the world and this and that and the coolest planes. But when it comes to, like, missile technology, we really lack. Sorry to tell you that. We really lack. But for, like, countries like Iran, these missiles would completely obliterate. Completely obliterate Iran. So, Iran, watch out. The F-35Cs in the area, if I know about it, they know about it. And they're already retrofitting their planes right now with this, probably this thing. So the only the only, the only way we would use these hypersonic missiles is pretty much to try to shoot a bullet with a bullet to try to knock down other incoming missiles. So they're probably stationed in Alaska, I'm assuming, because that's where the missile is going to be coming from if, if there ever is war with uh, Russia. That's exactly where the planes are going to need to be positioned. It's right there in Anchorage there. So hopefully, ding, ding, Trump, hopefully you got some F-35Cs there to help help out with our shitty missile defense system. Hey, anything will help right now. Do we know what Russia is going to do with this new brand new war? I don't know. But this war is, it's getting started. They're pushing for it. So no matter what happens, there will be a war. I guarantee it. World War III has already started, so we're just waiting for the for the next bullet to be fired to really kick it off. We're waiting for somebody to take a bullet and shoot at the United States Marines. Or the ships over there. Or a Shahab 3 missile targeting the Qatar Air Base right now. That's what they threatened yes they threatened yesterday again. We have the Shahab 3 and we can strike you any any one of you over there, so you know, and that may be true, but I would like to see you try to shoot down, to shoot a fucking Shahab 3 at our U.S. troops over there, because they are guarded by the Patriot. There's a huge Patriot battery system in Qatar guarding the U.S. troops there, so I dare you. Try it. They'll have so many fucking missiles in the air shooting that thing down, and then you just sign your own death warrant, so like President Trump said this morning, your death warrant's pretty much already been signed. How do you choose to react? That's up to you, isn't it? You and Salami. So, all right. As always, I love you all. You guys have a good day. There's the news. Let's go. Let's go see Nibby. All right, love you all.